what was the direction that your research took once you had this independent post? Um, well, I was still very much working on um, different manifestations of how matter works near black holes. Certainly, I was continuing work begun in my PhD um, in terms of the um, uh, the active galaxies, um, which you know we see out to the most distant parts of the observable universe. But I acquired a newfound interest in um, objects in our own galaxy, in the Milky Way. So much, much smaller scale black holes, by which I mean much lower mass, masses that are just, say, 10 times that of our sun rather than a billion times the mass of our sun. And I started working on those objects at optical wavelengths mm -hmm. with spectroscopy, which, as you know, means that we can split up the light from these objects into emission lines and absorption lines. We can see which different elements are present in the system, yeah. so that tells us about the chemistry of what's going on. And we can see how they're moving via the well-known Doppler effect, so we can get a handle on their dynamics. Yeah. And it was really the sense that optical spectroscopy was a very powerful tool in the toolkit yeah. that wasn't perhaps being as exploited quite as much as it might be to help us understand rather better how these objects work. So these are relatively close black holes? Like they're relatively galaxy. close in the sense that they're in our galaxy, yeah. but the light taken, um, sorry, the time taken for the light to travel from one of those to us is, you know, thousands of, of uh, years. So yeah. they're really quite a long way away. So but are we going to run into one at some point? Um, don't anticipate that happening. Okay, okay, good.